What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by SmartAppCreator.com. Now go ahead and check out their website below and you can actually go ahead and download software to create a full-fledged application directly on your computer simply by dragging and dropping. You don't have to code or know how to program at all and you can export in everything from .apk to .xcode proj to even .exe and of course HTML5 which is the one I'll be focusing on today. It's also great for, you know, students out there it's great for educators and who knows maybe a brand can make a quick mock-up using this however if you are trying to make a full-on professional application this might not be your cup of tea so of course google maps to whiteboard fox there's also a bunch of templates and as you can see if you don't take my word for it then go ahead and check out all these other different review channels that went ahead and check this out now let's go ahead and launch this and see what we got so the overall software looks something like this and I'm simply going to go ahead and show you guys what the startup screen looks like. As you can see, you choose what device you are going to be pushing this onto. So maybe it's an iPad, it's an iPad with a retina display, maybe it's an iPhone X. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and choose, let's see, an Android phone because that's what I happen to have. And as you can see, you can choose mixed, vertical, or horizontal. We're just going to go with vertical at the default resolution that most phones are. And that should give us some crystal clear application design now, as you can see it looks like something we're all pretty familiar with it looks like microsoft word and the way they formatted this is kind of like powerpoint you know you just drag and drop things and things just seamlessly work all right so taking a look at the overall design of this i'm going to go ahead and start at the top so as you can see you can save this just like you can do in like word and there's edit insert template animation interaction and page now as you can see on the left we got our individual pages these are different pages of the application and on our right we have the overall settings for the application itself for example you can go ahead and add a cover and the cover you know it's just your actual logo or icon this is what people are going to press when they jump into your app you can also, also go ahead and choose a name or just kind of call it the smart app because we're on smart tech there's a bunch of other settings on here, but I'm not really going to jump into those. Let's jump into the main ones. So if you want to make a new page, simply hit that. And afterwards, you can go ahead and make an, uh, put an image on here. So I have a random image. You know, I'm just going to throw that into here because why not? And you can resize it from here or you can go ahead and bring it to front, bring it to back. It's kind of like PowerPoint, if you guys know. And then there's a variety of other options like aligning it to the top right. And of course, you can go ahead and get rid of it if you really want. And control uh, Z and Y and all that does undo, redo, so on and so forth. So let's just go ahead and take this and I'm going to make it like, you know, it's going to be a little tiny site just chilling right here. Now, next off, we're going to go and add some horizontal text, and I'm simply going to go ahead and here's my text, and we're just going to call this welcome. So this is just going to go ahead and be my main little page, and you can move that around. We're just going to put that right there. Why not? Welcome to the U.S. But now that we have text, you know, that text doesn't look that great. Kind of looks pretty ugly. It doesn't go with the vibe of my app. So let's just select everything. And from here on out, I can choose the font. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to choose something a little bit more interesting than Times New Roman. Actually, Quartzo looks pretty cool. This looks a bit ridiculous. But you know what? It's my app. So nothing you guys can do about it. We're going to underline it. We're going to italicize it. Maybe we'll tweak this a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit of color. Because why not? This looks absolutely insane. It looks like one of those 90s websites. But I am proving what you guys could potentially do if you're really feeling it last but not least maybe we can align the text to the center a little bit and make sure that this is up front and just like that i've added text to my site and you can select both of these at the same time and let's say i want to resize them and make it look a little bit better than it looks right now you can go and do that and i'm simply going to take this and this is going to be my little status bar at the top now this is the world's worst app but if you put a little bit of time into this there's a lot of things that you can potentially do you could even do a little bit of ux design in here or ui design now next off here's where things get a little bit more interesting but now let's step it up a notch. As you can see inside of the insert tab, we have images where you can add multiple images. You can add audio or you can add video, but here's the cool thing. You don't have to add video from a local uh, drive. You can actually add video from YouTube. Isn't that really interesting? So let me just jump into YouTube real quick. Let me jump into uh, the channel and let's just go ahead and take a random YouTube video that I've made and throw it onto this application just to see what happens. So here's a video on smartwatches. And I'm going to go and just insert the URL. And just like that, that YouTube video is now in here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right down here. And now when people tap that, it will play that particular video. How cool is that? Once again, we can add text. We can add full on bubbles. Let's go ahead and add one right here. And I'm just going to type watch this. Oh, look at this insane font. All right. And we're just going to put that down there. 
and keeping on with our trend we also have different backgrounds and how they happen um, we also can insert a PDF there's a timer on here for the page if you want the page to switch to another the next page there's a counter you can add a hotspot slide if you want to add a full-on PowerPoint slide in here you can do that as well and last but not least you can add a full-on button button or a full-on website so if you want to add uh, the a whole page to be a particular website you can go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and jump into a new page I'm simply gonna hit website right here and as you can see we're not gonna use their site because we're mean let's go ahead and use our own site and it's gonna automatically render this to work on mobile as if you're on a mobile version I'm simply gonna hit this apply and just like that if this actually works it should bring up the smart tech site or well, smart tech YouTube channel and look at that how cool is that Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys one other cool trick. Now, let's say, remember I have this cool little map over here? Well, you know, our whole app is based around one giant long road trip. That's the whole goal. So, what if we actually want to put an actual Google Maps uh, map in here? Well, you can go ahead and do that as well. All you do is maybe add the location from and to. Let me just jump into a random map and add a link in here. All right, so I got myself a link. Now, we're going to go and add a map. And I'm simply gonna, and as you can see, it kind of did it for me, so I might as well just use this one. And just like that, I have a nice, cool little location. And you can actually search. This is Taipei, but you can search and put whatever you want in here. So that's a cool little page as well. But let's take it a step further. This is an application. What if we want some animations? Well, as you can see, we have a few templates here for photos. And as you can see, this is what it would do to a particular image. So we have a little image slider over here. And we also have a vertical image sliding one. So this is what this would look like. And if you, you know, if you just swiped up on this, then this is what it would look like. You've seen these on websites and whatnot. You can also do the same with text. Um, you can also add effects. So you can add a full on gallery. And so we have a cool little Mercedes gallery or car gallery right here. And last but not least, we can have a full on 360 rotation. Why not? Okay, we got Buddha, it's Taipei. Why not? Just put it right there. And lastly, we can actually go and preview this on our own variation of this fake little Android device. This is literally what it would look like if we were to go and upload this to our Android device. This is it right here. And just like that, we're going to have all those animations happen when we're done. Lastly, we have interactions. So you can go ahead and mess with the animation starts when they appear. You can mess with the touch and so on and so forth. But you can actually select certain items and each of them have their own different settings. For example, this video has certain things. Like you, can, you can choose it to appear or hide. You can also have maybe this cool little thing where you can uh, enter the hotspot. And lastly, there's a few other options here, depending on what you have, like play, stop, stop animations. And there's a variety of things you can do to basically, you know, either show students or just learn the overall gist of UX out there. Lastly, things get a little bit more complicated on here. For example, BGM, navigate settings. And this is if you really want to make your, you know, polish your application and have it be really, really awesome. So All right, so last but not least, we're going to go ahead and attempt to render this out so we can actually upload it into an APK format that we can actually use on an Android device. Sure, that's a mouthful, but the process is pretty easy. Simply go up here and hit output. Lastly, you choose what you want. I'm going to be going over HTML5 as well in a second. And there's also an EX for uh, Windows but for now we're gonna be jumping into Android because of course when I first started this video I made this in a format that's reasonable for Android so as you can see we're gonna go ahead and choose an app name so I'm just gonna call this greatest app all right next we need a bundle identifier and we're just gonna do com dot smart dot tech uh, just like that and lastly we need a version code so this is a zero 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 one and this will help you update your application later on last but not least everything else you can keep more or less default unless you know what you're doing and you can also add your icon now but for now I'm simply gonna hit submit and actually it's actually gonna make you choose an icon so let's see what I can get so I just picked a random image that I could find <laughs> an interesting one and I'm simply gonna hit submit Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and simply select this as ST, save, and now it should save to that particular area. So now as you guys can see, we have an APK file right here. 
And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the application. Here's my Android, and it says greatest app on there. Is that the world's coolest icon or what? So, of course, I went ahead and launched it. And as you guys can see, everything seems to be fully functional. We got this cool little button right here, my top welcome bar. Now, this is, it is low-key the world's ugliest app, but let's be real. I only spent four minutes on it. Imagine what you could do if you spent a good, I don't know, 40 minutes on an application. You could maybe have something. There's our cool little YouTube video down here, the images I added. Everything seems to be perfectly as it works. And the best part is it only took a few seconds to render this out and take it and put it on my Android. And it would take probably a few more minutes to get it up and running on Google Play if you choose to do so. Now, if you want to have your application available on the web browser, just like these people did, you can actually go and use their particular app show site right here. And all you have to do is jump back into the application, except this time, instead of uploading as an APK, we're going to do HTML5 as a zip file that you can actually preview online. And if you're doing something that you know you want to submit a Facebook ad for or something of those sorts, this is a really convenient way to go and do that. We're simply going to hit new folder. I'm going to call this hello open that folder up save it inside of there it's gonna write my pages and before you know it we should be able to upload it to this cool little page right here which is exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select my file it should be in here oh there it is hello select the zip file give it a name we're just gonna call it name and last but not least I'm gonna upload that particular file and you can give it a Facebook sharing subject and a description too not really worth my time right now but after it uploads, it should be set to go. It should say upload succeeded. And afterwards, we should be able to share this link. And let's see if our link actually works because you can actually share this as a QR code, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Weeboo, and of course, even Line. And just like that, my application is fully available online. How cool is that? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.